And uh, we apologize for the brief technical glitch in our Quintuas report. Moving on, South Korea's National Assembly Speaker left tonight for an eight-day trip to the U.S. along with representatives of Korea's three major political parties. They plan to meet with the leaders of the U.S. Congress to strengthen cooperation between the two legislatures and exchange views on the volatile security environment around the Korean Peninsula. Our Chi Myung-gil reports. In his first trip overseas in an official capacity, Assembly Speaker Chung se gyun left for the U.S. on Monday, accompanied by the full leaders of the three main political parties. The ruling Senori Party's Chung jin Seok, the main opposition Minju Party of Korea's Woo sang Woo, and the minor opposition People's Party's Park ji won During his week-long U.S. trip, Speaker Chung is expected to meet with members of the U.S. Congress to discuss countermeasures to North Korea's nuclear and missile threats and stress the importance of this whole Washington alliance. Chung will first head to Washington, D.C., where he will meet with U.S. House Speaker Paul Ryan and House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi. Then he will head to New York to meet with U.N. Secretary General Pang Gi moon and give a speech at the Korea Society, a nonprofit organization dedicated to enhancing ties between the two countries. Chung will wrap up his schedule in San Francisco with a visit to Silicon Valley. The six-term lawmaker plans to deliver words of encouragement to South Korean entrepreneurs and scientists working in the tech sector. Speaker Tong emphasized that the U.S. trip is part of the South Korean parliament's diplomatic efforts to maintain peace and stability in Northeast Asia amid North Korea's continued provocations. Tim Young-gil, Arirang News.